Our afternoon's top story is the latest blast of this winter weather. Several mountain school systems dismissed early ahead of the winter weather threat. And News 13's Lauren Brigman is live in Madison County, one of those systems. School administrators there acted pretty quickly. They wanted to get the students home safely before the winter weather hit. School officials here in Madison County tell me they had people watching the forecast all morning and with the threat of icy conditions hitting the higher elevations first, the decision was made to release Madison County students at 11 a.m. The temperature here has definitely dropped since this morning. Got out of the car just a few minutes ago. It's about 37 degrees here in Marshall at Brush Creek Elementary, but definitely colder in other parts of the county. Parents in the pickup line telling me they were even starting to see sleet at their house. Now, making their way through the rain, Brush Creek Elementary School teachers led the students to the buses around 11 a.m. Students are becoming accustomed to this routine as the mountains are finally getting a taste of winter weather over the past couple of weeks. Parents and grandparents picking up children here say they realize weather conditions change quickly in Madison and would rather have students home safe than risk waiting until the winter weather hits. School officials say Madison County students have missed 17 days so far. The average is about 16 days per year, but today's early release will not have to be made up. So for example, today we would be able to count the entire student day because the intention of the school system was to have school all day. So the fact that we came in, we had an early dismissal, the way the calendar law works, we're allowed to count this day as a full student day. Superintendent of Madison County Schools, Dr. Ron Wilcox, says a calendar adjustment has also been made, allowing 16 minutes to be gained each day, and this will accrue four days for the school system, so they're definitely working to make up all of those days. And Madison County isn't the only district that has released early today. For a complete list, watch the ticker scrolling at the bottom of your screen. Also log on to WLOS.com for all of the updates. Reporting live in Madison County, Lauren Brigman, News 13.